Ik zie dit wordt met Is smitten. I think he thinks we've done it for him. Hey guys, we are starting out and about this week. We are on the most beautiful sunny day <laughs> coming to IKEA. We've actually come to Exeter with Otto. We left him with my parents because we're hoping to do a little garden makeover. And I've seen a little, I can't really call it a sofa, it's like a wicker seat. Um, but I'm thinking of getting two. It's windy. Let's see what they've got. Just sat under this wonderful shade inside, <laughs> testing out the little seat areas. We are looking for something. Oops, sorry, very loud. They're building some furniture over there. We're looking for something really practical. In maybe two to three years' time, we want to update when our extension is finished and our garden is finished. But for now, it'd be really nice to have something comfy to sit on. So I was looking at two options. I think we're going for the option that I favoured the most. It's like the cheapest thing that I could find that also feels like a comfortable sofa and we've done a comfort test and actually it is one of the most comfortable it's not it's not like really lovely quality outdoor sofa but for what we want for the price get what you pay for this is one that I actually preferred the style of so they're these kind of lovely benches um, that you can also put these seats on but this is really quite hard you just like can't yeah, sink not into not it like you're quite like upright there and it's quite stiff and this without the cushions is at the 200 pound mark whereas the one we're looking at comes with cushions for 240 so much better price sorry I just turned my mic around so hopefully you can hear me a bit better this is the one that we're thinking of going for Ollie's just sat on one that actually looks really nice and we were thinking about but it's double the price it's yeah it's very claustrophobic like he's sinking too, too much into that one he can tell how fast we are this one's modular so you can literally take it apart so this could be a little seat on its own we're going for two ends times two so it'll be like a two-seater and a two-seater it'll be quite small as a two-seater though actually be quite cozy with somebody next to you for now we'll get that and then we can always get little additions yeah if you fancy it you know what a rug would be really really nice but I already thought about that but we've got a pooing and peeing machine at home they have them in stock I'm so pleased I love when you can just pick it straight up from Ikea um, but we do have many <laughs> so we're pretty sure it will fit, especially because these come pretty thin. I can see they watch my phone. I'm so excited about this. I am too. Oh, it's first day at the beach. We're gonna try and take him in for a little swim, but it's not its not that hot. Hot enough to be in a bikini, to be honest. We have packed lunch for all of us. Um, this is his little towels water bottle. We're not quite sure what he'll make of it here. He loves the sand though. It's not gonna be the most relaxing day for us though, is it? <laughs> this is already like that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think, I think we just have to give it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got a bit of chicken in there today so he's very excited <laughs> yeah we're covered he dropped this lovely thing on me <laughs> what a life he wants. what a view so we've got quite a nice setup now but Otto's got a new favourite game which is fetching us things fetching anything he can find from the beach we've had a wood we've had a stone we've now got a feather everything you take away from him he'll okay. just wander off and find something new no 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Good morning, we had such a nice day at the beach yesterday. It was just the perfect weather, not too hot. Um, we actually tried to get Otto in the water rip. We really want him to be able to swim. Um, so we did some like little swimming lessons with him and it was just so cute. I th we think, we think he built his confidence, but equally, we're not sure that he loved it. Um, and then we actually went to a pub for dinner. So it was just all around a really, really lovely day. Otto was exhausted, we were exhausted. We literally got home, I think about like 8.39 and we all just went to bed. Um, he is getting excited now. You can probably hear him whining because Ol is in the garden today. We're gonna try and get this patio area really livable for the warmer months. It's looking <laughs> a bit sad. Ol's literally picking up the dog poop. <laughs> Oh, what a glamorous life. He's coming. Let me open this up and show you the full potential that we have. Oh, so from our snug, we have a very wonky patio area. It's not that pretty in the distance because the mound. I'd love to somehow hide the mound, but we're supposed to be hopefully getting rid of it this year. We have this lovely table set, which is really pretty, but it's really not comfortable. It's not the kind of place you'd like sit and read a book. Right at the end of our garden, we have some lounges. I was thinking of bringing them here, but as you saw yesterday, we got the IKEA chairs, which I'm hoping to put like one here and one here. And then ages ago, hopefully you might remember, I picked up some new plant pots from Home Sense, and I still haven't put any plants in them. So we're also going to be heading to the garden centre. First thing first, though, we're going to build. I don't think there's going to be much building, but we're going to make the seats because um, then we can take all of the packaging to the recycling centre. Is posing for the pool. This is a good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw They're basically built, unfortunately. Ollie decided he'd put the feet on all the wrong way around, so he changed them all to the other way around. Now they're only half on the wrong way around. <laughs> not on right. Oh, yeah. ah! They're up. I always get too excited when we have something new. I just want to put it together and see it too quickly, so the cushions are there. But obviously, we need to move this, get rid of the weeds, and we are heading to the garden centre next. Healthy lunch to give us some energy. We have come home to balance out the scone. Um, but they look so good already. Um, I need to go out again, or we need to go out again, just to get a few little plants. But we've got these Annabelle hydrangeas and this little one. Obviously, they're not planted yet. They're just in the pots. Come on, we're ready to go. This dog is tired because he had a big beach day. Now. He's getting carried in the bag. He's a pampered peach. We're off to try and find some little white flowers now. And he is tired, so I will oblige. <laughs> getting the first class service. He's in my basket now. I'm destroying.
I'll play in a minute. <laughs> today, we're in the garden again. I'm excited about today because today, hopefully, I can pull it all together. We planted the plants, um, the sofas are up, we have actually been sitting in them, and it's been so nice each evening, just kind of like being able to lounge in the garden a bit more. But yesterday, I thought, how nice would it be to use these festoon lights, which I actually got a good few years ago now um, for one of Ollie's birthdays. And for a while we had them strung at the end, but I did make a mistake. I feel like they've become more and more popular. <laughs> Otto's booping them. Over the last few years, and I bought glass, which looks really pretty, but they're just not as practical, especially to keep up all through the winter. Anyway, ba baffling on about these festoon lights. They need to get clean, but I'm hoping that I can use them because I've now bought a like festoon light pole. So I plan to put it from the house to the garden. I only got one because actually this turns out quite expensive. I think this was like 30, 40 pound per pole. So we'll stick with one at the moment and see how we like them. Also hoping Ots doesn't pull down the pole. He's very much enjoying all the time spent in the garden. I think he can't quite believe it. He adores the garden. He's in it. Like, he'll be in it all day if we let him. Um, so I think he can't quite believe that we're out there. He's like, this is this is nice. We're all lounging outside. Come on then. Let's go put the lights up. I don't think this is helping. I think this is hindering. my tassels. No. So I plan on putting the spiky end in the middle of this grass bit, which will be in the middle of the table area. And then I'm thinking of is it tying one to this end and one to that end for a little V-shape. Lunch breaks are so much better now. I know. It's not such a much one, it looks really good as well, but. Getting it in is a lot harder than I anticipated. <laughs> Probably got it in like a millimetre, it needs to go all the way down to here. Um, Ollie's working today, but he's gone to get a hammer to try and hammer it in for me. It's taller than I expected. It's gonna be quite tall here, which would be nice, because we won't be hitting our heads. Thought he was getting a hammer. This is, this is what he's decided we're gonna do. <laughs> There's so many hammers, but there's none in the shed. <laughs> you want me to hold that? Yeah, if you hold that one. Oh gosh. Oh no, it's nothing. Wow. Wow, that's probably enough. Enough? Oh, you don't need to do this. I don't know where getting that in. That was tough, and that is going nowhere. Um, this is when it's not wonky and it's in the wrong place. <laughs> It definitely looks a little bit wonky right now. <laughs> it does look quite wonky. Oh well, we'll have to do. We're just stuck in there for good. Oh, that looks fine to me. He is hoping this works and they turn on. Aussies. Damn it, I'm not even quite sure how that happened. But they're not on anymore, let's just say that. <laughs> um, I think, no, quite a few have shattered actually. One, two, three, four, five have shattered. So I'm gonna have to try and, hoping I can find <laughs> them on Amazon again. Um, but I'm gonna have to clear up that glass because we have lots. 
But before I do that, I think I'll try and get them up because if I keep doing this, I might keep smashing them. So, I'm gonna get them up first, fingers crossed. Slightly concerned now though, because I ordered them, I think it must have been two or three years ago. Um, so the likelihood that they still have bulbs, I don't know. <laughs> also, I was trying to get out, poor little chap, but yeah, it's too dangerous for him out here at the moment. I'm really annoyed, I'm so annoyed, I'm so annoyed. I think I was trying to pull them too tight. I couldn't even really figure out why. Should I let go of them? I'll have to watch the video back. Um, I think I was trying to do it too tightly, so damn it. But basically that's why I recommend you get the plastic ones because inevitably that's gonna happen with glass. Final few doctors and I'm spending my evening enjoying. Um, found these. I thought these would look really cute with the lights too. I got these a while ago. I think actually again for Ollie's birthday. But they're brilliant. We pull them out all the time. They're looking a little bit sad at the moment. Because you can just fling them in the wash with a bit of bleach and they come out looking new. So really versatile. Love them. Love them. Just simple and white. I think I might have got these from Amazon. If I can find them... I'll link them. I've actually got two sets there. I think I'll probably only need one. You know me, I'm hoping not to iron them before putting them up. I'm gonna put them up and see if I can make do. We're all loving this space. Otto is smitten. I think he thinks we've done it for him. We've been enjoying this space so much, I literally forgot to end this video. In fact, I was sat out there just a second ago, but it is so bright. The one thing that we really need for the space is some kind of shade, and we do have a parasol at the other end of the garden. Maybe we'll just move that down. But it's so nice to have this little area, specifically because as well, we love this room. I spend a lot of time in this room, especially now that we have Otto. And to just open these doors, it kind of like makes the room seem double the size. Otto, of course, loves it. He really does think that we did it for him. In fact, he's got all his toys out there in the moment. He loves to just dot them around and of course make himself at home. We do have quite a lot of space between the two chairs and the table, but we purposely left that because we go out a lot with Otto. Um, and it's just so much easier to be able to walk through instead of having to like bypass around them and go that way. And another really nice thing about the space and it being right here next to the snug is that you may have seen when I was styling it, I put cushions out there and I also put some candles out there. They're not outdoors, but because it's so close, we can literally just fling them out there if we're there for the weekend. And then like we have, <laughs> fling them back on on this sofa. Anyway, as you can imagine, we've been spending like 90% of our free time out there and I'm sure over the summer months, we're gonna get so much use out of it. It's definitely gonna be worth that little bit of investment. Although to be honest, oh, it's always the same thing. I so, so, so wish that we had done this earlier. We've lived in this house for four years and we've had nothing on that paving since. And since it's been there, I can't believe how much we're using it and loving it. Anyway, it's done now ready to do enjoy for the summer. I hope you guys are starting to enjoy the summer and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys!